Welcome back. The Oyate Group is dedicated to bridging gaps in services as well as resources, focusing on empowering marginalized groups, including youth, small businesses, and local artists. One of their notable programs is offering valuable career readiness skills and professional experience. And here now to share more is the program coordinator at the Oyate Group, Kimberly Troncoso, and then also beyond rising interns at Bronxnet, Jody Ann and Leo Mary. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. So you do a great job, really, of dealing with some of the issues that we're talking about in society, things that people tend to walk away from. You take on front and center. So talk a little bit about the, the mission of the Oyate Group. So the Oyate Group is a Bronx-based nonprofit organization, and our mission is to alleviate poverty. And we really try to do that by the different programs that we have. So right now we're focusing on um, youth programs, small business empowerment, and just basically filling in resource gaps in our community. And so the both of you were actually interns as well. And so uh, I'll start first with uh, you, Julia. Talk to us about your internship and how, what did you do in the, within the internship? Um, so basically, um, Beyond Rising like connects us with different sites that we'll be able to intern at. So we got placed at BronxNet, and here um, we help out um, with different things on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes we're floor managers helping to check in um, the guests, micing them up and so forth, and then other times we're um, camera assistants helping with the filming of the show. Yeah. Leo Mari, it's uh, interesting working here. Yes. <laughs> the first thing, um, our first talk when we were like um, learning about cameras and stuff, we were like, what if we messed up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the way she was explained, it was in the same like um, how like uh, virtual learning, mm -hmm. it was different, uh, but yeah, we were able to manage. Yeah, a little um, nervous, so I, if, what if I mess up on the camera? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, look, I mess up on camera every week, so don't <laughs> even worry about it, you're, you're good, so you just, just, just catch up. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's a great feeling to really have this kind of work integrated, and talking about alleviating poverty, but at the same time, providing opportunity for young people to be exposed to so many different things. Yes, um, it really is, and you know, I'm just grateful to be a part of um, Oyate Group and the great work that we're doing and just servicing and filling in uh, resource gaps and just addressing needs in our community. Yeah. So. And so when you talk about the program itself, I want to just ask you, like, you know, how has the work that you've done helped you for the next level? So on Fridays, we have a Friday session at the Oyate headquarters, and sometimes we have like professional development workshops. Mm -hmm. So one of the workshops I want to note is um, we learned about email etiquette and like professional um, conversations that you have in like, you know, the professional field. So I feel like I could definitely apply those skills to like um, my career in the future, like, you know, dealing with um, my boss and higher ups, emails and so forth. Yeah, one thing, um, another professional workshop, it was about financial literacy. And uh, it's basically like um, we, well, we, um, we learned about uh, all different types of things with finance. Yeah, it was like budgeting, yeah. budgeting. Um, budgeting. Um, how to like spend your money wisely and right. stuff like that. Yeah. And, and we thought it'd be a meaningful workshop to incorporate because we do give them a stipend as well. Right. So just being able to give them the resource and another resource so they can spend it, you know, um, yeah. smartly <laughs> um, was something that we really wanted to incorporate into the program. So. so you feel like you had fun as well as some professional development? Yeah, the course it was like a perfect blend. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. What was the thing that you learned the most? I mean, out taking away this experience, what 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 what, what was the biggest thing you took Well, away? we improved our communication and listening skills because those are basic skills that we need, like in the workplace. Right. So I'm an architecture major, and uh, those are the basic skills that we, that we, I will need in order to interact with, with the client. So yeah, I feel like this internship helped me a lot to improve those schools and um, teamwork as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like um, the internship basically just helped me see how like real world jobs would be like because like, you know, it's very hard to try to get um, opportunities to have a job or internships um, as an undocumented student. So with Oyate's help, I was able to see like, oh, this is this is how it is. Like, you know, like this is real. And it was basically like my first job. So it was like a really exciting moment for me. Yeah. 
I think sometimes people take for granted communication that they think it's just so easy yeah. but when yeah. you find yeah. out it's not. But well, you know, communication is just communication. There's a whole lot to it. But yeah. as you guys have learned, you know, ladies have learned, it's been so much helpful, so helpful, I should say, for your future that you really can apply it, not just for the job, mm -hmm. but just like even, even in life. And that's right. what you want. You want them to have these life experiences that are really catered to developing them as young men and women to move forward, right? Yeah, exactly. And one thing that we really aim to do is to diversify our partnerships, mm -hmm. just to give each intern a very different um, path and expose them to different horizons. And so you've got some success stories about people who've come through the program. What are some of the more notable ones that you've had? So I'll tell you a notable achievement. So Leo Mari and Jody Ann actually created the opening for a show on BronxNet. Mm -hmm. It aired August 1st. It's for La Fica del Sur, the Mott Haven Community Garden. Um, and it's called Eating Healthy at La Finca. Mm -hmm. um, and so they were able to create an opening and also the closing, I believe, yeah, for the yes. show. And it aired here. So that's a very notable achievement that we're really proud of. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> it was it was stressful. Video yeah. editing is like so hard. I don't know how people do it, but we had a lot of fun. Like that was such a great hands-on experience. Yeah. Yeah. Once you learn it, it just it sticks with you. Yeah, I feel like now it's stuck. Now it's stuck now. <laughs> yeah. But, but there was was there? Let me put like was there a moment where you felt like I can't do this? Yes. Yeah. The very first day. Yeah. The very first, day, yeah. the very we first like, no, day. Right. Yeah. We were like no. We were stuck on literally just transitions, and it took us at least like three hours. We were like we <laughs> yeah. barely did anything. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. On but the second day, we were able to finish it. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you feel confident now? Yeah. yeah. A bit. A bit. Maybe. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> better than before. So. Yeah. Better, yeah, yeah. Better than right? when you first started. I, I have an idea. If it made it to air, then that means you did a real good job. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so, yes. so what's next? I mean, what do you feel is next after having this experience? Um, we're college students, so basically, yeah, yeah the semester is about to start, but I think like August 28th or something like that. So just focusing on my studies and then also um, more opportunities that my college offers for job placement and so forth. Mm -hmm. We also plan to keep the networking with Vision Rising mm -hmm. um, at the Ojati Group as well. Right. So, yeah. Now you got partnerships. I mean, you got partnerships with us. You got Fordham yeah. University. I think who else? we got Columbia University as well, yes. right? So when you have partnerships like that, how do they make the difference in the lives of young people? So placing our interns in established institutions um, like local colleges and nonprofit or organizations, um, it just exposes them to a variety of um, experiences um, that will just strengthen them along the way. Well, Kimberly, thank you for joining us. Jody Ann, Lee Marie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah, hope we didn't you. make it too rough on you. you guys it was got okay. It. <laughs> well, good yeah. to have you. Thank you so much. And thank congratulations. You. Thank, thank you. you. All righty. Now, listen, if you want more information, I encourage you to do me a favor. Visit the website, oyategroup.org, and then follow them on Instagram and Twitter at Oyate Group. All right. Don't go anywhere. We've got more open coming up right after this.